Hello again. This is my... I wrote it down. Nope, didn't. <laughs> oh, there it is. Literally on there. Sorry. This is Off to See the Wizard and Outlander Clamshells from L3 Waxy Wonders. Probably not the best one to show you to get that, but, you know. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's good stuff. So, these were... I ordered these... January, February, March, April. I ordered them April 26, 2016, and it is now May 31st. And they would have been here a little bit sooner, but the holiday weekend. So I'm going to get started. First off is my sample baggie, and this is extremely appropriate for the psychotically hot temperatures. I have mango sorbet and a little daisy Ooh, cat. that's my cat by the way not me and uh, here you smell it <laughs> it smells good but it's I feel like it's more of a blender kind of scent than something I'd want like on its own and then we have Venus's virtue which is the new clamshell and samplers that are out as of this very moment. So if you want some, get you some. And this one is Cotton Candy Frosting, Hello Lover, and Blonde Moment. I don't know what the heck Hello Lover is, but it smells really good. Like, you could definitely smell the Blonde Moment because it smells like fizzy and citrusy kind of, but not citrusy. That was super helpful, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. It was super helpful. I like it. I might make a good body product because it's not, you know, girly or anything. It's just sweet. And then the third sampler is Murtaugh, which is an extremely adorable shooting star one. That would be a good one if she has for the new one, which is literally called Second Star to the Right. It's a Peter Pan sampler. That would be a good shape for that. Since it's, you know. Um, I don't know what this one is, so. It kind of smells like it has a, um, I don't know if it's pink chiffon or a thousand kisses. You know, one of those kinds of women's cologne. Like, it doesn't smell florally. It actually smells pretty good. I would really like to know what's in that. So, I got a couple of doubles. These three are doubles. Oh, can you even see those? Can you see those? Can you see them now? All right. So I have two flying monkeys, which is what I call my cat. Um, flying monkeys is banana bubblegum ice cream and it had bubblegum and I said, give me two. Oh my. You can smell the banana and the bubble gum, but you can also kind of smell the ice cream. Like, I don't know if it's ice cream scoop bread or just ice cream, but it has that little bit of something else. So it's not just, you know, straight up banana and bubble gum. Oh, that smells so good. So glad I got two of those. So glad I got two of those. Next up is two Tin Men. And... He's got that. Is it cute butt? No. Oh my, sorry. <laughs> Tin Man is Rainbow Sherbet Tea and Cakes and Serendipity, which are literally three of my favorite things. So, yes. Kind of wish I had more. Because you can smell the tea and cakes, but you can also smell the Rainbow Sherbet. Probably not the Serendipity as much, but you could definitely smell like all. It's just beautifully blended. So, that is just. A good choice on my part. Thank you very much. And then I have a Lollipop Guild. Don't worry, I won't sing the song. But Lollipop Guild is Lollipops, Blue Raspberry, Jolly Ranchers, and Fruit Punch. Ooh. And that is put in bed. So pretty. And that smells really good. Like it smells like the blue raspberry, like a um, icy. <laughs> And look at that butt. Slippery little butt. Love that. I call the bottom the butt. It smells so good. 
like the lo I think the lollipops might be giving it a little bit of a different not like a perfume but just a hint of a perfuming nude kind of thing I would have liked if the fruit punch was stronger but it is third in the list so maybe I also got yellow brick road which is lemon biscotti and saltwater taffy and that's what it looks like can you see it? I don't know. It has the brick road. Uh, I smell a lot more biscotti. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of the lemon on the bottom. It's mostly lemon biscotti. I don't really smell the saltwater taffy at the moment. But you never know. Oh, summer. Oz, which is cotton candy frosting, strawberry jam, and pina colada. I'm sorry, I just can't say pina colada the proper way. I don't know why. Hmm. Trying to figure out. I think that's the smoke from his. When he comes out of the closet. And look at that. Look at that. Green and orange. Ah, you could definitely smell the strawberry jam. I don't know. I don't know if you could smell the pina colada very much. But I'm sure it'll come out. And then I have Auntie M, which is sugar milk, blueberry muffin, and blackberry butter, blackberry jam butter cookie. Which is very hard to say. Thank you very much. And that one just has that. But then it has a different color, but. Ah, it smells so good. So I'm gonna go with it smells a lot like blackberry jam butter cookie, but the blueberry muffin definitely comes out. And oh, this just smells so good. I don't know. Ooh, I think that's a saying. Yeah, there's no place I come. Oh, so good. Like a little tornado. What? Damn girl. Damn girl. But I don't know about the sugar milk. I don't know really know what that smells like. I mean, I know what it should smell like, but it's not like super strong. So just creamy goodness going on over there. Then from the Outlander, I have Roger Mac, which is Captain Crunch, glazed donuts, and creamsicles. Which is yes. Oh my, I wish I had two. Because you can smell the Captain Crunch, but I think you can smell a little bit of a creamy orange, maybe? I could just be making that up. I don't know. Look at that little tie dye thing going on there. <laughs> And even some glazed donuts. Like, I don't know if it smells like just, you know, bakery or if there's like an actual, like a strawberry or raspberry donut. I don't know. But it smells good. And then we have a Lord John, which is strawberry starburst, lemon sugar, and southern, southern sunshine. Sorry, I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> and I think that's a flower or a thistle. Oh, that's nice. You can smell the strawberry, but it's like a different kind of strawberry than the strawberry jam. You can smell like a citrus, but it's like a creamy citrus. It's very, very good. And I love that gray, so. You won me with that. Then I have Fergus, which is French baguettes, honeyed butter, and red rubios tea. Look at that picture. Look at that. Just look at all that. Just a party. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'm not sure which one it is, but I mean, it doesn't smell peppery, but it smells like kind of like cinnamon sugar dusted something. It smells more like that to me than. I don't know, maybe I don't like bread scents. <laughs> it's not a bad scent. I just. That was like my wild card of whether or not I should get it or not. I'm like, yeah, might as well. And this is Dinafash, oh which is orange juice cake, orange sherbet, and orange meringue. So if you're looking for orange, boom. It's got that beautiful marbly. And it smells like orange, like creamy, cakey, sherbet orange. So good. So good. I could have sworn there was one on this end. Oh, there it is. Where the heck is that? 
the hell is it? Wait, did I not get that one? Dang it, man. Did I leave it in the... Huh. I'm supposed to have, I'll get you my pretty pistachio macaroon with pistachio coconut mallow fluff center. But, I don't know. So I just looked and I apparently do not have that. So I'm going to have to get in touch. Because it's on the list, but it ain't in the bag. Huh. First time. But she'll be super cool. She'll send it to me. Because I'm about to make another order for the newest ones, the Peter Pan, and it has Second Star from the Right, which is a Peter Pan one. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's Roman Pantheon, because she has Olympian sense, so she wanted to do the Greeks, because she had the Romans, or the other way around, <laughs> I can't remember. No, she had the Greeks, she needs the Romans. There you go. Wait, did I just say that? Shh. And Sweet Summer Strawberries, which is a mini sampler of strawberry scents, some of her favorites. So I'll be buying from that, and I'll just ask her to throw that one in there. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thanks for listening, and you know I'll be back. Bye!